These days, it's hard not to find a smile on Kieran Wiggins' face. The 20-year-old is doing well in his role with Titans for Tomorrow and is the first to put his hand up to help students in need. If I've ever got a problem with a boy um, who's maybe not, uh, not academic and is maybe at risk of leaving school, I uh, give Kieran a call and ask Kieran to come down. It hasn't always been smooth sailing for this quietly spoken boy from Moree. A visit to his old school brought back a lot of tough memories. I was one of the few that were on the streets, um, you know, just running amok, you know, getting in trouble a lot. Uh, could have easily gone to jail. The wrong crowd, family issues and drinking led the 17-year-old to petty crime. He would drink to excess on the weekends and spend nights sleeping under a building at Benoa High School. Kieran says his dark days were as bad as they come. When he lost his pop, the closest person to him, he was pushed to his limit. At one stage where I was in the room, locked the doors and you know, I, was, I thought you know, maybe it would be better just to go, get out of everyone's hair and it would be um, better for everyone else just to, to move on. I wouldn't be there to be worried about anymore. Kieran credits family for being there to pull him out. After opening up about his feelings, Kieran took responsibility for his life, participated in a Titans for Tomorrow program and secured a traineeship at the club which put him in contact with two football legends who had a lasting impact on his life. Chris Choppy Close played a big part in Kieran's new outlook, so too Preston Campbell. So when I got, got the chance to meet Presto, he was he was there and he understood, he'd seen my background, heard my background and he was like, he was like Choppy as well, you know, very willing to put his hand up, you know, in his own time to have a chat and help me out. Just like Preston, Kieran is now determined to help Indigenous students who may need some support. You know, there's always professional help but if it's not for you, just go and talk to someone who you'll find comfortable talking to about it. Benoa High's Louise Horan says programs like those delivered by Titans for Tomorrow are making a huge difference to so many young Indigenous lives. I think they're very beneficial. They give the children such a confidence about themselves, um, a sense of identity. Renee Buckingham, Titans TV.